action. Hello everyone, Monday again. It's the spring equinox, which is good news because if you've got solar, then that means that sunlight hours are gonna be for, you know, for longer periods. And actually within the next week, we should see an extra half an hour of extra daylight hours. Uh, we just need this rain to obviously go. You'll see behind me, um, you might recognize this installation, but we put in a heat pump to this property at the back end of last year. Um, the customer, the homeowner's got solar PV in place at the moment with a Fox uh, inverter and some battery storage. Um, but we've put in a mixed G hot water cylinder and we've also put in place for them the um, Eddy, My Eddy, My Energy Eddy solar PV diverter. Now a customer was, he's very techy, so he was always monitoring and looking at data and, and uh, Notice actually there wasn't any surplus energy. If, if there was any surplus energy, it was running back to the grid and nothing was coming back through the solar PV diverse to generate some of this hot water, um, which was a bit strange. Now we know that the, my, the um, Eddy has had a firmware update just recently. So we checked that, it's got its latest uh, firmware online now on the system. Um, so myself and Tom, our kind of chief PV expert for Dory Woodman came and had a look so we we done like a simulation essentially so what we done was we we turned around the CT clamp put the kettle on because we know it's going to be around about two and a half three kilowatts of energy it's going to be used from the kettle to see if it would recognize that as uh, exported energy going back out and that it should be pulling it back in to feed into this immersion heater but it wasn't um, Strangely, it, was, it wasn't even really indicating anything was, was properly happening. I think it was down to about, I don't know, 0.2 or 0.3 kilowatt hours or something coming back through on the eddy, which obviously made us think, well, there's got to be an issue. So we took the front cover off and we checked the CT clamp itself and the connections. And literally, we took the, took the wiring out, cleaned the wiring, clipped it back a bit, reinstated it, re re reintroduced the simulation again, and hey presto, we are back up and running as it should do. So uh, fingers crossed, and if you're experience that, experiencing that situation with PV diverters, sometimes just pulling the wires out and reconnecting can solve the issue. So we're going good guns again now, so any surplus means that we'll start generating hot water and not sending it back through to the grid.